I'm Gail, and welcome to Gentle Chair Yoga. We're going to start in our seated position. Feet are flat, kind of uh, towards the front of the chair. And using our yoga breathing, we're going to inhale our arms up. A long, slow inhalation through the nose. And slowly exhale the arms down. Also exhaling out through the nose. Two more times. Inhale, up, reaching, stretching. And exhale, down. One more time, long, slow inhalation through the nose, and exhale down. Next, we're going to do some shoulder rolls. So inhale, lift your shoulders up real high, and exhale them back and down. Inhale up, exhale back and down. One more time, shoulders up, back, and down. Now, moving our heads, releasing tension in our necks. Take your head over to the side, chin is up, and slowly bring your chin down toward the armpit, around in front to the other armpit, and lift your chin up. Again, bring it down. Around in front, down, up, and down, around in front, up. And then one more time to each side. Releasing tension in our necks. We carry a lot of tension in our necks and shoulders. back to center. Next we're going to do cat cow. And for that we need to be towards the front of the chair. Open up your knees. Bring your hands onto your knees. You're going to inhale forward and look up. Then exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Keep going, inhale forward and look up. Exhale and Around. A few more times. Long, slow breath with the movement. And round. And next, we're going to do a moving twist. So bring your feet and your knees together. We're going to inhale and lengthen, sitting up real tall. And as you exhale, bring your hands to the outside of the leg and look over your shoulder, twisting as far as you can. And inhale back to center again, lengthening the spine, sitting up tall. And exhale to the other side. And inhale forward, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, back to center. The next one we're going to hold, crossing your ankle over the other one, take opposite hand to the outside of the thigh, inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, grab the back of the seat of the chair, pushing your hand against your leg and twisting as far as you can, looking over your shoulder. And when we hold these positions, you just breathe through your nose. And then on your hands, and across the ankles, and the other side. And opposite knee, inhale, sit up tall, exhale, and twist to the back. Again, grabbing the back of the seat of the chair. And then back to center. Good. 
Next, you're going to inhale your arms up, reaching, looking up, stretching, lengthening the spine. Switch your wrists and exhale down. Practicing our yoga breathing again. A long, deep breath. Open up your chest and shoulders, reaching. And slowly exhale down. One more time. Up. And down. So we're going to do a side stretch. So you're taking your arm up, reaching and lengthening. The other arm can just hang or you can hold on to your chair. And you're reaching to the side, reaching through fingers, through shoulders, all the way down your side and into your head. The other side, take your arm up, reaching and over. Next, we're going to do a spinal rotation, and for that, you want to open up your feet a little bit more. Hands are on knees, elbows up, and we are circling. You're deciding how big of a circle you want to make. Notice how good this feels. And then go the other direction. And one more time. Next, we're going to do a shoulder opener. And for that, you want to come to the side of the chair so that one arm can hang loose. And your palm is up. We're going to sit up real tall. As we inhale the arm up, you're taking it up as high as you can. And then open up the shoulder, twisting and bringing it around. So we're increasing range of motion through the shoulder joint. One more time. And for the other side, scooting over. Arm is hanging, sitting up tall. Inhale the palm up, opening up the shoulder and coming around. And again. And one more time. And then opening up the chest and both shoulders, come back to center, still sitting on the front of the chair, and grab the back of the chair. Now you decide how high up you want to put your hands on the back of the chair. What we're doing is opening up the chest and the shoulders. So lean forward and hold this stretch. Again, you're just breathing softly through your nose. very energizing for us to open up our shoulders. Also, this is very good for posture. We want to do a counter pose. So interlace your fingers, round your back, tuck your chin in a rhomboid stretch. And release. Next, we're going to do a seated hamstring stretch. And for this, you bring one leg out. You're pulling toes back towards your head, and the knee is straight. You inhale and lengthen first. And as you exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Now, you should feel a stretch in the back of your leg. It's important you pull the toes back so you're stretching out the ankle and the calf as well. Just hold here and breathe, enjoying the stretch. And release the pose. And for the other side, take your leg out, pull the toes back, knees straight, sit up tall, inhaling, 
exhale, come forward. We're going to work the abdominals as we sit up tall, pull your stomach in, and you're going to lift one leg up as high as you can. Now, some people will be up high, some people might be just here, and that's fine, but you're going to lift it as high as you can and point and flex the foot. It's important that we work all of our joints to help us stay flexible and young and ankle circles. Way. And bring your leg down. And for the other side, again, lifting the leg as much as you can. Stomach in, shoulders down, point and flex the foot. And circles. And the other way. If you want to continue, there are two options on the main menu. You can go to the standing poses or do more of the seated stretches and moving into the relaxation phase. Part of the program. You want to hold on to your chair. First, we're going to do warrior one. So come in close to the chair, feet are forward, feet hip width apart, and take a giant step back with your right foot. The toes are at an angle, the hips are forward, bend the front knee. Now you're welcome to hold on to your chair for support or if you want more of a balance, bring one arm up, possibly both arms up, shoulders down from the ears, and hold the pose and breathe. And release, holding on to the chair, bring the foot forward, take a couple steps, and the other side. Feet are in close, left leg goes back, giant step back. Toes are at an angle, back leg is straight, and you bend the front knee. Again, you're welcome to hold on to the chair, or if you want more of a balance, one arm, possibly two arms, shoulders down from ears, hold here and breathe. onto the chair, bring your foot in, a couple little steps. Next we're going to do downward facing dog. Holding onto the chair, step back, feet are hip width apart, toes forward. You're going to flatten your back. This is a best stretch to lengthen the spine. Pulling your hips back and looking down at the floor. You'll feel this wonderful stretch through your back and also the back of your legs. And bend your knees and walk in. And take your arms up overhead and stretch and happy hands. And a big inhale. Up and exhale. Releasing the shoulders. Okay, next we're going to do a standing twist. Again, holding on to the chair. Your right leg comes forward a little bit. Your left leg is back. Holding on to the chair. Bring the right arm up. And we're going to inhale the arm open. Twisting and looking over your shoulder. Pose, coming back, switching your legs. Now 
holding on. Left arm comes up and twisting all the way to the back, looking back behind you. And release forward, and bring it up again. Next, we're going to do a warrior two pose, still standing behind your chair. You're going to bring your feet into a wide stance. And then take your right toes out, and bend your knee. Now you can hold on to the chair, or you can bring your arms out, or you can hold on with one hand, either way. In this position, pull shoulders down from ears, and look over your right hand, and hold this position and breathe. And release, straightening the knee, bringing the foot in, and take the left toes out, bend the left knee, Again, you can hold on or bring your arms up and look out of the left hand. Our warrior poses increase strength, flexibility, and balance. And release. Right toes in. Bring your feet together. Shake them out a little bit. And next, we're going to do a tree balance. So come to the side of the chair, so you can hold on, standing on the leg closest to the chair. You're going to bring your heel into the ankle, or possibly up on the calf. So you can hold on if you need to, or if you can, balancing, bring hands in prayer position, knowing the chair is there whenever you need it. Looking at something that is not moving. And release the pose. We're going to walk around to the other side. Same thing on the other side, tree balance. Standing on the foot closest to the chair. Bring the heel in. And if you can, prayer. around behind your chair. We're going to bend our knees, straighten them up on toes. Flat feet, bend knees, straighten up on toes. One more time, bend knees, straighten toes. And release. And we're going to come down and do our seated stretches. Now, continuing with our seated stretches, first we're going to do a quadricep stretch. So come to the side of the chair, and you're going to bring one knee down. The knee is pointed down to the floor. Just hold on to your chair as you stretch out the quadriceps. These are the muscles that we just used in our standing poses. Just hold here and breathe. And release the pose and the other side. Again, the knee is pointed down, holding on to the chair and stretching out the quadricep muscles, the thigh muscles. And release. Next, once again, we're going to inhale the arms up. And as we exhale, hug your knee in. Now, if this is too much for you, you can grab behind the thigh. 
So we're hugging the knee and we're sitting up real tall. And some ankle circles in one direction. And for the other side, inhale, the arms up, reaching. Exhale and pull the knee in. Pull it in real tight. Sit up tall. And ankle circles. And the other direction. And release. Next, continue with our hip stretches. Sitting on the edge of the chair. You're bringing your right leg up. We're going to take the right ankle onto the left knee, opening up the knee. Sit up real tall, inhaling, and as you exhale, come forward. Now you'll feel this stretch in your hip. If this is too much for you, the alternate pose is to just cross your ankles. Same thing, and then you lean forward and feel the stretch in your hip. But for most of us, we're going to enjoy the stretch up here. And release the pose. Just windshield wiper your knees from side to side a little back. And for the other side, ankle goes on top of the knee. Knee opens up. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhaling. As we hold these deep stretches, you just breathe softly through the nose, relaxing the areas we're stretching. And release. And again, windshield wiper the knees a little bit from side. And now we're going to do a seated twist. So crossing your leg at the knee, take the opposite hand to the outside of the leg. We're gonna inhale, sit up tall, and as you exhale, twist, grabbing the back of the chair and looking over your shoulder. So you're sitting up tall, twisting. Hold the position and breathe. And release the pose. Uncross your legs. Cross the other leg over at the knee. Hand to opposite leg. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale and twist to the back, grabbing the back of the chair and looking over your shoulder. So as you twist, each time you inhale, sit up a little taller. And each time you exhale, twist just a little bit deeper. center, uncrossing your legs. I've had you all twisted up, so next we want to do some cat-cow to realign the spine. Hands on knees, inhale, pull through the thumb. Exhale, round your back. A couple more times. So we realign everything. One more time. back. Next, bring your arms up and rotate your wrists. In yoga, we want to use all of the joints. Lubricate our joints. And fingers, this, fingers, this, and rotate this. And the other way. And release your arms. We're going to do some shoulder rolls. Inhale the shoulders up. Exhale them back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Now, one more time. Back. And your hat. Take your head to the side. Semi-circles on your chest as you go around.
and come back to center. Now we're going to go into Savasana, our final relaxation. So sit back against your backrest. If you can, you have your feet flat on the floor. Mine are a little short here. <laughs> Get comfortable in your chair. Just allow your hands to relax in your lap. Pull your shoulders down and back, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your back. And gently close your eyes and go again. So you're taking long, slow breaths through your nose, relaxing your body. Continuing to breathe softly through your nose, allowing the energy to run up and down your spine effortlessly. This final relaxation phase of the program is very important. It is the time that your body integrates the gentle yoga program that we've just done. Yoga means yoke or union. It is a union of the body, mind, and spirit. Ultimately, this body-mind connection will enhance your physical health, and mental and emotional well-being. So please take this time to relax and enjoy. Slowly bring your attention back to the room, waking up your body slowly. And one last time, bring your arms up overhead and exhale into prayer position. Closing your eyes and going within. You're feeling relaxed and energized. And namaste.